Hello, another motorcycling video and thank you for watching. If you stick with this video for about two minutes uh, of the nine minutes, you will see uh, a perfect example of reasons why I've been talking at length about motorcycle safety and safety on motorcycles and paying attention to the road uh, in the last bunch of videos that I've made. I don't need to say any more, just stick with the video until about 1 minute 48, close to 2 minutes. Uh, what I did want to talk about was uh, moto vlogging. And for those who don't know what that is, that is when you're making videos like I'm doing now whilst motorcycling. And what prompted me to make this video or have this discussion was I was watching a video by a fellow named Kevin who runs a channel called MC Rider. He is based in Texas and he's a Motorcycle Safety Foundation instructor and he talks about why he talked about why he doesn't moto vlog. And the explanation he gave, which I thought was quite valid, was that if he when he's out on his motorcycle, if he's doing it for recreational purposes, that's a different thing. But when he's out uh, creating instructional videos showing riders how to perform a skill, uh, if he had to worry about whether he was in shot or talking to the camera or whether the microphone was picking up his voice or something like that, then he wouldn't be concentrating on his job of, of demonstrating something correctly and therefore he wouldn't be doing uh, his job properly and doing riders a, a service. He was saying, for example, one of the important features of motorcycling is to point your head turn your head in the direction you want the motorcycle to go and so if he had to worry about whether he was in shot and turned his head to where he was going to go um, then he wouldn't be doing his job properly and I thought that was a pretty good reason but I also thought uh, there are a couple of there are a number of people that I know or that I watch on YouTube uh, there's one called coach Bob who's based in Florida there's another called purple in purple on three who lives in the eastern United States I'm not exactly sure where and another guy uh, called Spidey67 who lives in Queensland. And each of those people, they also make videos just like what I'm doing now, uh, but they all do it in a slightly different way. Now, Coach Bob, for example, he has uh, two cameras that he uses, one that's on his helmet on the um, bar that goes around your jaw and your chin, um, and he uses that camera to focus on the road so you can see where he's going and what's in front of him like you can see in this video now he has another camera which is placed somewhere on the dash of the spider he rides a spider it was placed on the dash of the spider behind the screen because it doesn't pick up any engine noise or any wind noise and it's always focused on him uh, and most of the time when you're watching his videos you're seeing him in the shot now since he's not providing instruction and he's not giving you guidance about how to provide, how to do certain manoeuvres or whatever, he um, probably doesn't have to worry so much about whether he's, um, you know, heads in the shot or not, but he must have a wide-angle lens or something because always uh, he seems to be in the shot. And he has a microphone which I think is attached to his, in, either inside his helmet or attached to his clothing somewhere, and um, it picks up the audio fine. Now, Purple on 3, uh, she is a, as a, a woman who lives in the eastern United States somewhere, as I said, I'm not exactly sure. She seems to have at least one camera attached to the handlebar of her spider somewhere. And again, I think it must be behind the screen somewhere because it doesn't pick up any engine noise either or any wind noise. And she must have a microphone which is somehow attached to her clothing. And not only can she record audio with it, but she can communicate with her um, companion who's riding with her, who's called Tommy G, and he rides a Harley. And they often go off together on riding adventures and they talk to each other as if they've got Bluetooth communicators. But she's able to record her uh, audio while she's on the road. Um, Spider67, he's a guy that lives in Queensland, in the southeastern Queensland somewhere, and he does similar things to what I do here. He puts his camera on uh, the spider somewhere, I think, again, behind the screen because there's no engine noise being picked up and no wind noise. Um, and it seems as if he records the audio while he's out riding because he talks about things that happen on the road and features of the road. Uh, and just sort of gives you general impressions of places he's going while he's doing them. Now, in my case, 
I have one camera which is attached to the left uh, wing mirror of my spider. Now if you're familiar with spiders you'll know that the mirrors are very much like car mirrors on cars these days and that they come in a pretty solid plastic housing which also has an indicator in it uh, and they're big enough to have the little base plate that the camera you can just if you look in the next few moments you might be able to see that in the shadow as I'm riding along where the camera is placed but it sits in the left wing mirror in one of those little base plates that it clips into uh, both the cameras I use I only have one I only use one at a time but I have two different cameras that I use they have a blinking LED which indicates when they are uh, recording and so every time I check that wing, wing mirror to see what's coming up on my left hand side I can see that the camera is recording I don't have an in-helmet uh, microphone or one attached to my clothing in any way. I have a microphone uh, which is a blue, um, it's called Blue, and it sits on a large stand, and I plug it into my computer and I record the audio um, afterwards, either directly to the to the uh, video as I'm doing with this particular um, video, or I... Um, record it separately and then import them and, ma and sort of marry them together um, so I don't feel as if when I'm doing this I'm having any distraction because I'm not worried about being in this shot because the camera is pointing at the road ahead as you can see in all of my videos I'm not doing pieces to camera uh, and I'm not thinking about what I'm saying while I'm saying it because I'm recording the audio later I don't generally use a script uh, but I have a pretty good idea of what it is I want to talk about and what I want to say. Uh, and I have sort of rehearsed that in my head while I'm out walking the dog or whatever. Um, so the point I'm trying to make here is that when you're making, um, if you're doing video videos while you're riding, um, try to do them in a way that is safe for you so that your attention is still focused on the road. So I guess I'm talking about safety to do with um, moto vlogging so try to do these things in a way that is safe for you that allows you to get the footage that you want to get and so on um, and allows for the audio to be recorded and for you to talk about what it is you want to talk about uh, but while you're out on the road concentrate on the road um, pay attention to what's going on around you and so on um, position your cameras in such a way that if you use more than one camera you can get the footage that you want of the road or you can get the footage of yourself if you're going to be in the shot um, and when then once they're uh, turned on it needs to be a case of set and forget so turn it on um, and then just let it record just like I do here and at the end of the two hours or whatever it is that you're riding you'll have you know a bunch of footage that you can make use of and um, you can edit, uh, edit it down to whatever it is you want. So that's the sort of points I wanted to make about uh, moto vlogging, uh, making videos while you're motorcycling. Uh, stay safe on the roads. I hope you've enjoyed today's commentary and enjoyed the countryside and scenery while you've been watching me ride through Goulburn towards my house, which is coming up in the next moment or two. And uh, I will talk to you again shortly when I'm preparing the next video. Thank you for watching and uh, feel free to provide any comments that you'd like to make.